what is tdp what are its uses why it is required on processor should you give it too important while purchasing a new processor for your computer i am going to explain you everything in this video so watch this video till the end hello friends this is abhishek here and welcome back to my channel tactical tech let's get tech begin stands for thermal design power or you can also say it as a thermal design point it is the maximum amount of heat your processor will generate now you may have a question should you go with the processor with the lower tdp value or the higher tdp value for getting the correct answer you have to wait till the end of this video see whenever you are purchasing a new processor you should not give too much important to the tdp value because it will only tell you the maximum amount of heat your processor will generate and according to that you have to decide the cooling system for your computer the processor that generate more heat you have to go with the better cooling system so that is the only requirement of tdp value whenever you are purchasing a new processor instead of checking the tdp value you should check the number of cores it has what are the number of threads what are its clock speed what are its technology these are the things which will tell you how is the performance of your computer not the tdp value for example let's compare two latest processors from two completely different manufacturers that is intel and amd the intel latest core i9 that is ninth generation processors and the amd latest r9 3900x processor both are the latest processors but if you compare the tdp value the intel processor that is intel core i9 processor it has the 95 tdp value but in case of amd it has the 105 tdp value means amd processors are generating more heat as compared to the intel one does it means the intel is better no absolutely not why let's find out see in intel processor we are getting only 8 cores and 16 threads and even even its architecture is also quite old they are giving 14 nm processor that is nanometer with that it's if you compare our overall clock speed you will get less clock speed as compared to amd same things if you check at the amd instead of 8 cores here in amd you are getting 12 cores and instead of 16 thread here in amd you are getting 24 thread even if you check the overall clock speed you will get the better performance on amd with that amd is also using the latest technology that is 7 nm processors you are getting in amd so if you check everything like everything is better in amd ryzen r9 processors but the tdp value is higher in amd it doesn't mean this amd is bad processor you should check the number of cores number of threads clock speed instead of tdp value and you should go with the best processor now why processors are mentioning the tdp value on the processor the concept is very clear guys the higher the tdp value you should go with the better cooling system amd processors are generating lots of heat because its tdp value is high that is 105 watt so you should go with the better cooling system you should not go with the cheaper one because it will not cool down your processor that much that best cooling system can do for it so whenever you are purchasing the higher tdp value processor always you should go with the better cooling system so that's the only work of tdp value and one more small thing i would like to clear in this video that tdp value is measured in watt that like for example amd ryzen r9 processors is having 105 tdp value it is 105 watt it doesn't mean that your processor will consume 105 watt of power okay the power and the tdp value is completely different so guys hope you have enjoyed watching this video and your all the doubt about tdp value is clear if you found this video helpful then please like share and leave your valuable feedback in the comment section below and for more amazing tech videos like this click here to subscribe to my channel right now and also hit the bell icon thanks for watching